Hey guys, what's up? Uh, my name's Sauce. I'm a new sponsor player of Games on Global, and I own True Media Gaming. Um, I I like doing montra montages, but uh, I do a commentary one every once in a while. This is my second one, I think, and I think I'm gonna start doing some more in the next few uh, months. Uh, me and Games on Global are gonna be working together on some uh, projects in the next few months. So uh, yeah, get ready to check those out. Uh, I pick up a DMR in the first few rounds. Oh yeah, this. This map is uh, Pinnacle, and I'm playing classical, classic Team Slayer. And uh, the DMR is pretty good. It's a four shot kill, three shots to the body, a shot to the head for, to take out the shield. I mean, to, yeah, to take out the shield, you need three shots and one shot to the head to finish them all. It's a nice gun. Um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying this game and all. And I mean, I get frustrated sometimes because you know, vehicles and all that. But um, I'm enjoying it. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, if you have the game ready, if you don't, just just tell us what you think from this gameplay, and maybe if you want it or not. Yeah, just leave a comment in the in the bottom comments box. Yeah, the pistol. I I use the pistol to take out the guy. It's pretty good. Pistol is a great gun in this game. It takes, what, I don't know, four shots or something? I mean, that was horrendous aim there. I'm more of a Call of Duty guy, but I mean, I enjoy Halo to take a little break from Modern Warfare 2. And all the Call of Duty series, you know, it gets boring if you play it over and over again. But uh, this game's uh, enjoyable, it's fun, it's got a lot of nice perks to it. The thing about this game that's a lot different from, from Halo 3 is there's more uh, customability. There's more ways to customize your player. And there's there's uh, the loadouts like like the sprint that I'm using right now. Um, there's armor lock, all that, all those loadouts. They uh, It's kind of like perks in Call of Duty, but it's not. It's just a little way to change the way Halo is. I mean... Armor lock, armor lock is gets annoying sometimes because people get shot and they just immediately drop into armor lock, and they could just pick a random time, and pop out, and just start spraying you. It pisses me off sometimes, but it's it's not too much of a deal. All in all, it's, the game's pretty evened out. I mean, there's power weapons, but it's your it's your it's your job to get them and pick them up. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be playing this game for next month or so, maybe on and off between Call of Duty and this oh, game. Just gonna be playing some Modern Warfare 2, some COD 4. You know, I, I I can't play too much Modern Warfare 2. I I get too mad. But this is enjoyable. Yeah, this map's it's it's pretty small. I mean, this map is. It's not as big as some of the other Halo maps like uh, Hemorrhage and um, what is it called Paradise. Both of those maps are um, variations of this. It's just like it looks similar. It's on the same world, I guess. But uh, the big maps, I never really like big maps. It's it just gets annoying because people camp everywhere and you never know where they are. Uh, this guy does. This guy fails here and drops down thinking that there's a little uh, rock leverage there. But uh, I happen to land there and I eventually just fall down and commit suicide because I can't get back up. Yeah, right there. <laughs> and it takes longer to respawn because I commit suicide. So don't kill yourself. Remember that. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, what I gotta yeah. yeah, that's what I gotta Another thing about this game that I didn't really like was um, the vehicles. I kept getting uh, killed by vehicles on... I was playing Big Team or something. Wow. I just kept getting spawn killed by vehicles. The Scorpion was uh, the most annoying thing in the world. I just spawned in and the Scorpion immediately shot its freaking tank missile at me and I died. Every single time. They just it was It was pitiful. It was annoying. But, uh, I, oh, I pick up the shotgun again. It's a pretty good gun. Big improvement from what they did in Halo 3 with the shotgun. It's The shotgun can shoot pretty far now. 
a good thing and a bad thing. You know, I got killed by some guy using a shotgun from like 10 feet away. Just kept getting killed by that guy in one game. Yeah, so the game's over, but uh, yeah, remember the comment rate, um, comment like, and uh, subscribe to Games on Global and me if you like this video. I mean, and remember to leave that comment under about Halo Reach and what you think. I don't know why, but I always like this part where they give you all that stuff. It just looks cool. Looks pretty epic. Alright, all right, peace out, guys. Remember to subscribe.